Because I have a big news for you. You know what? You can actually uh, deliver for FedEx freight shipping and make nearly half a million dollars a year. This is a great opportunity. I want you to listen on because you're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you how to deliver for FedEx freight shipping. We are speaking about an opportunity that can actually earn you nearly one half of a million dollars a year. This is fantastic. Let me give you first the overview. What are we talking about here? What is FedEx freight shipping? Well, when we talk about FedEx freight shipping, we're talking about transporting commodities, goods, and cargo by land, sea, or air, right? But in today's conversation, we are speaking about transporting commodities and goods and cargo by uh, uh, by land, okay? And we are specifically talking about using uh, cargo vans, sprinter vans, or trucks for that, okay? So one thing that's really important to understand is that common types of freight shipping through FedEx include uh, truckload, LTL, we're talking about less than truckload, and intermodal, okay? And one thing I want to say here is that FedEx is constantly looking for partners, for delivery partners, because they know they have a problem. They can't actually cover the country 100%, so they, they cover the country 78% based on our research. So the other 22%, who is going to cover that? You, you boss, you are going to cover the 22% and help FedEx have a national presence, okay? So they are looking for, they are looking for folks who, are, who, who know their industry, who know their neighborhood, okay? You have to be punctual, though. You have to always be on time, okay? So when we talk about the freight shipping modes that are available through FedEx, we have less than truckload LTL, okay? So LTL is typically used for shipments between 150 and 15,000 pounds, okay? We are talking about full truckloads. We are speaking about typically more than 15,000 pounds, okay? We are talking about partial truckload, anything between uh, that's over 5,000 pounds or six pallets. You are talking about intermodal and expedited, okay? So one thing I want to say here is that, and uh, when, you talk, when we talk about FedEx freight shipping, you want to focus on LTL and FTL. So full truckload, okay? So full truckload, they actually are looking for shippers all over the country in terms of dry vans, those who have dry vans, those who have flat beds, okay? Make sure that your, your cargo van has temperature control. Very important because they're going to actually, uh, FedEx is going to outsource to you the shipment of produce, pharmaceuticals, meat, seafood, and dairy. So it's important. And uh, so in terms of uh, the shipping rates, make sure that you are you are actually competitive in your pricing, okay? So you wanna you wanna pay attention to the shipping method, the origin and destination, the size and weight, the special services that you offer to, to FedEx, okay? Now, this opportunity is about LTL drivers for the continental US, Canada, and Mexico. So if you have any question, you wanna call 1-800-GO-FEDEX, 1-800-463-3339, and ask to be redirected to the supplier's line. So boss, how do you deliver for FedEx freight shipping? The first thing is you need to qualify. You need to qualify because FedEx is not going to look at your application if you don't qualify. You need to have a legit business, okay? I'm talking about making sure that you have a a business that has an EIN, okay? You need to actually be already in the industry. It's very important. So you want to plan your business. You need to form your uh, your delivery service into a legal entity. You have to choose if you want to be LC, you want to be LP, you want to be uh, an S Corp, C Corp, okay? Remember, you can have, you can also become, you can be a sole proprietorship. Not a problem, but we do not advise you to actually remain a sole proprietorship. You want to incorporate 
okay you can even be a single member alc this was better because you want to segregate your personal affairs from your business's affairs very important okay you want to register your your company for taxes i'm speaking about having your ein very important your employer identification number you want to have the same uh, thing at the state level okay making sure that you are compliant with state rules for taxes you want to open a business bank account and uh, if you are lucky to have a business credit card also you want to set up accounting for your delivery service the reason why i'm telling you all these things is because fedex is going to check it they are going to check all these things when you apply okay you want to set up accounting make sure that you're and again I'm not asking you to uh, hire uh, 1,000 people. You can actually uh, have, uh, you can use QuickBooks, okay? If you are a single member LLC, you, you don't need a lot, really. You have QuickBooks, you pay like uh, $15 a month, and uh, this is it. You need to get the necessary permits and licenses for your delivery service. This depends on where you're located, right? What kind of, what part of the country you're located, and what kind of delivery service you want to do with, uh, with the FedEx freight shipping, very important get delivery service insurance remember fedex is looking at you as a as a separate entity they want to outsource part of their shipping to you you better make sure you have insurance they're not going to buy that for you no okay you want to pay attention to your brain if you want you can also have a, a delivery service website this can help you this will help a lot during the interview process so they know that you are for real that you are really you know you're really into this delivery service business have a, a business phone also don't try to again don't try to mingle your personal affairs with your businesses okay with the businesses affairs they are important okay and most importantly i want you to have the right vehicle now we're going to talk about the vehicles later on but you need to have the right vehicle because if you have all those things you have all this um uh, this uh, this information you have a legit business but you don't have the right vehicle this is not going to help you right and you have to know your area also i'll talk about that later on so after the first part is qualified right second step you want to apply so i want you to look right now on the screen for, boss look on the screen so you want to register as a supplier go to the link we're showing you right now on the screen you go there and you register as a supplier second screenshot so you put your company name your personal name your email address and password so FedEx will send you a confirmation so you want to go to your inbox and you want to click on the confirmation link in your inbox so you'll see here you have the registration confirmation and then you can log in to your account okay do you see boss do you see the, the bottom right button where it says support do you see that on the screen right now you want to click on it so normally you should see an email entry going to suppliers at fedex.com with subject line FSRP support. Okay, so you want to send an application package to FedEx, including information about your business. I'm talking about the, the name, address, the phone, the licenses and permits, everything I told you in the first step. You need to include the owner. You have to have a short bio resume of the owner okay you need to talk about the vehicle you have or can have access to the thing is you can take pictures of vehicles you don't yet own but you can lease once the contract is awarded because the thing is i don't want you to actually uh, lease or buy a vehicle if you don't if you don't have the business yet maybe you want to wait so but the cool thing is you can take pictures and include that those pictures in the application package okay so to haul for fedex you must have a box truck or a cargo van or an expediter van or a sprinter van or a step van or an office van or a single trailer truck okay so that's the third thing the fourth thing is you got to have insurance okay i told you earlier you have to show them proof of insurance and the, the, the fifth thing is the geography you want to cover as well as your availability. I'm talking about day, night, ground, or express. So there are five things I want to actually, you need to have in the application package and you send this to FedEx. Your business, 
everything about your business it has to be, it has to be one page the owner one page the vehicles you have or can have access to okay insurance and uh, the geography you want to cover very important <music> Next, you have to comply, okay? Remember, as a FedEx supplier, you must be able to abide by the terms and conditions in terms of customer service, driver safety, brand reputation, very important, regulatory compliance, and their money back guarantee. I mean, basically, FedEx has a, a money back guarantee that they offer to all their clients, and you also must be able to make sure that you understand that because in other words, I spoke to you earlier about being punctual, right? Being on time. It's important to be on time because otherwise FedEx is losing money because they have this money back guarantee and they have it on every U.S. shipment. Okay, so this is important. So in, that, in terms of compliance, you have to secure, if you haven't already, a federal tax ID number, an EIN. Because once they hire you, they will be checking this every quarter to make sure that you are still uh, compliant with all the rules and regulations, okay? Very important. And you want to keep up with maintenance and recertifications. In other words, once you are hired, this is kind of cool, but you have to keep up with those maintenance uh, schedules because FedEx Freight Shipping wants to make sure they have access to the best of the best in terms of delivery service, okay? And they're very, uh, they actually have a quarterly, a quarterly uh, checkups also in terms of the maintenance, but also recertifications. Depending on the industry you're in, depending on the location where you're at, you might have some recertifications that are uh, important for you, that are mandatory, okay? You also want to apply for licenses and permits, if you haven't already, okay? I'm talking about things like CDL, commercial driver's license, commercial vehicle registration for any fleet vehicle. We're talking about fuel carrier licenses, heavy load or cargo perm per per permits, okay? and insurance coverage for drivers, passengers, or goods. So the whole thing here is that you need to keep up with uh, a constellation of uh, a constellation of, uh, of measures and uh, guidelines throughout your contract with FedEx Freight Shipping. The thing is, they check this all the time, and they check this randomly, okay? Especially if you are operating a very busy, uh, I would say a very busy city or a location, they want to make sure you are totally compliant, okay? So they will send, uh, so they have a, uh, inspectors they will come and, and actually uh, audit your your vehicle audit your business operations just to make sure that you comply with fedex terms and conditions okay it's very important so let me just uh, in terms of compliance make sure that you understand customer service driver safety brand reputation regulatory compliance money back guarantee you want to get your ein or at least uh, make sure that it is still valid you want to have your certificate of good standing for your alc you want to keep up with maintenance and uh, recertifications, and you want to apply for business uh, licenses and permits. The next thing you need to do is you want to specialize. Okay, now FedEx is a big company. We're talking about billions of dollars in revenue here. So if you in, a, in such a big ocean, if you want to make money, you need to specialize. Okay. You want to deliver for FedEx Freight Shipping. That's good. But you can also choose to say, you know what? You want to specialize in the type of package you want to haul for FedEx. For example, let's talk about FedEx Ground Shipping. Okay. So when you think about FedEx Ground Shipping, it is basically a low-cost shipping service that delivers to businesses and is faster to more locations than UPS Ground. Okay. Now, the, the cool thing is if you need to ship to a residential address, you can use FedEx Home Delivery, which delivers every day of the week. So the big question to you is, do you want the FedEx ground shipping or you want FedEx Home Delivery? You got to you got to niche down, if you will. OK, because it really helps you. It helps you get more business from FedEx and it helps you also develop and expand your business over time. We're talking about at least nearly half a million of potential revenue if you are in the right location this is kind of cool and you you provide the right service to fedex as a, as a subcontractor okay so when we talk about um, shipping time you have to think about shipping and transit times remember delivery within the contiguous u.s takes one to five business days okay so shipping to and from alaska and hawaii requires three to seven business days so my question to you is boss where are you where are you located and what kind of uh 
metropolitan area are you covering okay and what kind of weight limit and maximum maximum package uh, size are you willing to take because remember packages up to 150 pounds and 108 feet in length and 165 feet in uh, length plus girth can be shipped okay so make sure you have the right cargo van space for that what about the the, the uh, delivery area well again fedex ground shipping or fedex home delivery covers the whole united states and we're talking about businesses and uh and uh individuals okay now for this particular program fedex international ground is not part of it because that that ships the the program ships between the u.s and canada and within canada so if you have a truck for instance and you want to do a ftl full truck load for instance you could actually qualify for fedex international ground but this is a the subject of another video okay so you need to determine if you want to do fedex ground or fedex home delivery i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Boss, I'm still talking to you about, welcome back to another edition of the Awesome Sort of q Show. I'm still talking to you about how to deliver for FedEx freight shipping. And we want to talk about diversifying. And it's very important to, to diversify because this is how you're going to actually uh, normalize your revenue over time. Okay. You don't want to actually pick only one niche. You want to diversify. Now, picking one niche is kind of cool for the beginning, but after a while, you need to diversify. So you want to explore this popular shipping the popular shipping services that FedEx offers okay so we're talking about overnight shipping so you can you can actually if uh, maybe this could be good for you in other words you're actually working at night okay so basically um, if if you work in the overnight shipping uh, uh, unit you're gonna have to work late nights so that you can deliver actually uh, packages to, co to customers before the next day okay something you need to think about you can choose early morning delivery mid-morning delivery or afternoon delivery it's, it's uh, totally up to you okay and fedex also has ground shipping so ground shipping is commercial delivery in one to five business days you can also work on that route also and make more money you can also do a uh, freight shipping so if uh, customers want to ship over 150 pounds you can actually provide LTL options, okay, with your with your operation, and you can actually take uh, take this opportunity also. Or do you want to work with flat rate shipping? Now, in our view, flat rate shipping is really the easiest to make to make actually continuous money from. Okay, you can actually so customers use FedEx one rate shipping for express shipments under fifty pounds. Okay, 50 pounds, it's actually, there's a lot of space in your cargo van for that, okay? And so, this is the this is the, the kind of uh, department, if you will, where you get a lot of business. You have a business, you have uh, orders all the time from FedEx, okay? Or you can also choose the same-day delivery also. So, same-day delivery is kind of cool also. The only thing is that you have to be really, really punctual and based on our research, it's a, it's a high-stress environment because you have to actually provide reliable door-to-door -door delivery within hours across town or across the country so this is really um very difficult but if you want to do that if you want to make money if you are willing to uh, to work harder that's totally fine <laughs> The, the next thing you want to do, boss, if you want to make a lot of money delivering for FedEx freight shipping, you want to expand. What I'm trying to say here is that you want to offer FedEx a deal they cannot turn down. It's all about making sure I, I, I'm just telling you how you can gradually make half a million dollars a year for FedEx. So you can start by niching down. You choose one particular niche. You can uh, after a while, after three months, you can expand. You can see whether or not you want to go with same day, same day delivery, uh, flat rate shipping, freight shipping, ground shipping. You want to go with overnight shipping. But the next level here is to actually expand. So you want to offer comprehensive services. In other words, you're telling FedEx, listen, I can actually offer you a different, um, a wide array of services. Okay, you can count on me for this and that, and this and that. 
And this, this can start by uh, expanding the services, the delivery services you offer. You can also expand the geography you cover. So if you're probably driving right now in New York, you can say, you know what? I can deliver for you in, in New Jersey also. I can do Connecticut, okay? I can do, uh, I can do, yeah, I can do uh, other, you know, other states. It's all about looking around and see, you know what? What is the tri-state area? What is the, the surrounding state that I can cover as well, okay? You want to make sure you are always punctual. Timely delivery will help you a lot. Will help you actually rank higher in pen feds in the pen fed in fedex in fedex books okay and uh you want to offer affordable prices make sure that your prices are affordable because that's what's going to get you more business over time okay you want to make sure that you have a proper handling of goods that that uh, fedex entrusts to you very important okay you want to offer exceptional customer service when you interact with the fedex's uh, customers because remember it is FedEx, FedEx's customers, not your customer. So you have to actually make sure that your your communication and your uh, your attitude vis-a-vis -vis the customers is as professional as possible. Okay, you want to actually uh, you want to expand the coverage area. Okay, so the bottom line bottom line is you want to make sure that you have the proper service at the right time, and you have the you have stellar service, stellar customer service, so that FedEx can actually trust you over time thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it in today's conversation i was talking to you about how to deliver for fedex freight shipping i give you an overview about the opportunity how to qualify how to apply how to comply how to specialize how to diversify and how to expand Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.